Okay, in this video, we're going to ask the question, uh, how do plants get their food? We learned earlier that heterotrophs, like um, this fungi, can absorb their food. Um, they can absorb their food by ingesting other organisms, like it looks like it's uh, absorbing nutrients from a dead log. This fox is, uh, is going to eat whatever it caught there, um, a rabbit or mouse or something. So these things, these organisms... Uh, get food by eating or ingesting other organisms. They're known as heterotrophs. Well, plants don't eat other organisms, or at least most plants don't. But they also need to obtain energy. That's one of the characteristics of life. All right, so we're going to take a look at how plants um, get their food. It's called through, it's through a process called photosynthesis. All right, so let's table, uh, let's title this uh, set of notes photosynthesis okay remember the whole objective here all right is to make food and this is going to be called glucose all right and these are known as autotrophs organisms that make their own food all right so let's start with a um let, uh, hold your paper sideways if you want like this and let's draw a pretty big fill up most of my page here with um, a plant cell okay so this here is um, a plant cell, right? And inside the plant cell are these uh, bean-shaped green organelles called chloroplast, and they're all over the place, especially in the leaves. Um, but we're going to draw one uh, particularly larger, so we can we can see the details of what's going on in the chloroplast. So photosynthesis happens in the chloroplast. All right, so let's label that. All right, there's uh, two structures we want to get, uh, we want to know um, in the chloroplast. We have these uh, stacks of disks, and they're known as thylakoids. Okay, so right there. And they're folded, you can say, um, and that's to increase their surface area because uh, something very important happens on there. Okay, and the other um, outside the thylakoid is this fluid called the stroma. All right, so you want to definitely know those two structures inside the chloroplast. All right, now don't confuse the stroma with the fluid in the cell. The fluid in the cell is known as a cytosol or the cytoplasm. All right, we're not, we're talking about inside the chloroplast. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at what happens in the thylakoid. There's two parts to uh, photosynthesis, uh, not in any kind of order, but um, textbooks usually do this uh, first. Um, Plants absorb water through their roots, and that water is going to go into the cell through osmosis. And then in the chloroplast, um, the thylakoids are going to uh, take that water and turn that into oxygen. Okay, Is that the point of photosynthesis? All right, hopefully you didn't forget. That's not the point. The point is to make food. We'll get to that in a minute. All right. Um, the way this happens is, Plants use, let me use a different color. Uh, plants use energy from the sun to do this. Okay, and so that's why this is known as the light dependent reactions. It depends on sunlight. Okay. But again, the whole point is not to make oxygen, although it, although it does make oxygen. All right, so you may be wondering, well, what's the whole point of that? <clears throat> well, the light-dependent reaction is going to make energy for the second stage. Okay, so we'll just say it's ATP. It also makes uh, NADPH, which 
is a high energy molecule. You don't need to know that. Just uh, sometimes you'll see these words with um, these names with H's at the end. Just just think of them as high energy if they have an H at the end. Okay, um, that's not what it stands for, but it's, it's good enough. Okay, in the stroma of the chloroplast, this is where the magic uh, happens. This is where something incredible happens. Carbon dioxide, CO2 from the air, all right, that goes in through the cell uh, through diffusion. And that gets used in the Calvin cycle. All right, and the Calvin cycle is going to take carbon dioxide, that's just the air that we breathe, and turns that into food. All right, I'm going to draw a little uh, hexagon here because that's that's just what glucose looks like. All right, so glucose is food, is sugar, food. All right, so think about that for a minute, and that should be amazing. Taking the air that we breathe and turning that into food. Well, that's what the Calvin cycle does. That's what plants do all the time in photosynthesis. All right, and uh, you should know um, that glucose is going to get used for cellular respiration because plants need to make ATP as well. Um, plants will also store extra glucose that they make into a molecules called starch. All right, so when there's not a lot of sunlight or water, they can still get that um, glucose and break it down from starch. So they can do cellular respiration. They can also use it for uh, cellular structures uh, like cellulose. They can make, they can join glucose into cellulose, and that's used for the cell wall. Okay, so starch and cellulose are uh, also carbohydrates. So all you have to do is link, you know, several glucose molecules up through dehydration synthesis, and and get those larger starch and cellulose molecules. All right. Um, by the way, there's a there's a chemical in there's a chemical pigment in the thylakoids that make them green, um, and that's called chlorophyll. All right. I'm not going to write that up here. It's not the most important thing, but chlorophyll is a pigment that absorbs the sunlight. Okay. So you may see that word. All right. So you want to practice um, this uh, set of notes from scratch, and you know if 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 anything, you really want to come away with what the overall reaction is. Okay, so what's the whole point of photosynthesis? What is it? It is to make what? Okay, it's to make food. Because remember, plants can't eat or ingest other organisms, so they have to make their own food. And that's known as glucose. Right? Glucose and food are synonymous, and it's a carb it's a monosaccharide, it's a carbohydrate made of one ring like that. All right, what do plants use to make glucose? Well, it's the carbon dioxide that turns into glucose in the Calvin cycle. All right, but to fuel the Calvin cycle, we need water. Okay, so you, you, you should know that water and carbon dioxide are the reactants, the things that get used in photosynthesis. And what is produced is glucose, and then oxygen is a byproduct. That's not what we're trying to make, but we do make that as a byproduct. All right, so go ahead and um, get some scratch paper, start from scratch, and, and see how far you can get. Let me know if you have any questions.